let me show you the issue. So the screen is here, right? Now watch, when I push on the bottom here and I just put pressure on it, you're gonna see, and it'll freeze up my computer for sure, but you'll start seeing little um, uh, squares and whatnot on the screen. See, boom, so there. That means that that bottom port is completely and totally screwed and there's no way to replace that. Um, I found a video on YouTube of a guy who was speaking in Italian, but basically what he did was he took a card and um, like a plastic business card and then he cut out a piece of that card and then what he did is he ended up just pushing it underneath that bottom port and what it's supposed to do is add more stability to the pins on the bottom so it won't get jostled around and it's supposed to make it more sturdy so Hopefully that'll work. This is the pad that goes underneath this board. I'm gonna reinsert that, but I'm also gonna use that to um, cut this so that it's about the same size uh, for the board. But um, yeah, we'll see if it works. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna put it over here, I guess match it up to a corner like so. Okay, and, and what I'll do is just cut it to size. So now that I got that cut, I gotta kind of cut to size. And what I gotta do is uh, remove the board here got to replace this but I'm also going to put this back um, over the top of that and that'll give it enough uh, pressure and hopefully that fixes the issue so there's some screws here uh, there's one two three four five six seven little t6 screws then you got to take the screws out for this um, fan as well um, there's some um, wires that you got to unhook here here these come off here there's three so one two three four five this one here this ribbon cable you have to push this up like that and this will pull right out like so this has a lock that you have to unflip and this is for the keyboard and it's the um, LED light for the emitting of the light there. Unhook that. And then this you don't typically have to unhook, but you can. And then it just pulls straight up like that. So I'm gonna take this out. And like I said, if this doesn't work, then no harm, no foul. You know, it's... Um, <laughs> It's just something that I seen on the internet and the person that did it had a lot of success with it. So if I can do this and it fixes my issue, at least I'll have a, a you know laptop that works correctly um, until either I decide to buy a new laptop or, you know, hold on to this one until it really stops working all together. I'm gonna take these screws out because I want to put that little pad back as well and basically what I'm doing is I'm just um, lining them up in a row so that I know when I put them back together they'll go back in that specific order will be the last two one and two now this should just come straight up you'll have to kind of pull it out because you have all of your connections here on the USB ports things of that nature so you're just gonna have to slide it out a little bit here like this and then it will open up that will flip back okay 
now you can kind of see the outline of where this was so we can put that back and then we'll take this and we will put this right here just like that we'll put it back down we won't screw anything down and then we'll see if the actual um, ram stick will fit in there because if not then we might have to cut that down a little bit but for now we'll see how this works I just want to make sure that the ram will fit without any issues and it does so that's good okay so I'm going to screw all of this back in reconnect it and then we'll check and see I'll push on the board and we'll see if that actually stabilizes it all right so I got the little kickback card underneath there the plastic card and we'll see if this actually remedies that issue pushing down so far so good I guess the true test is gonna be when I push when I push here I'm pushing on the bottom here look nothing I'll be damned still loading and I'm pushing on the board. Look, it booted up. That actually worked. <laughs> I can't believe that worked. That's hilarious. Um, let's see. I'll get in here real quick. See if it's reading the, the RAM. It should say eight gigabytes here. Eight gigabytes. There it is. Hopefully that helps you guys out. Thanks for watching.